Hey everybody, welcome to this second public test server event for Warhammer's 1.3.6 patch. This event took place on Friday night and about 250 players showed up for it and it was actually a lot of fun. There were two reasons primarily for the this test event. One being to test the against all odds system and the second to test out the effects of removing friendly collision. We'll get into the latter one a little later in the video. So the against all odds system basically rewards players for fighting in zones where they're outnumbered. They get a scaling bonus based on how badly they're outnumbered. You can actually get some of the best renown in the game this way. And I think it can go up to about 400% return. So if you're outnumbered 4 to 1 and something's worth a thousand renown, you'll get 4,000 for it. Organized groups should be able to make a killing against a lot of Zergs and things like that, so it should be very interesting to see what kind of effect it has. Today I am playing on a Rune Priest. I usually come on the PTS as my engineer, but since I do have a 40 Rune Priest, I thought I should check it out. My guy's only uh, in Annihilator Conqueror still, so it's going to be quite a long time since I can wear the Sovereign like I am now. But it, it was a nice change of pace. The Rune Priest can put out a lot of healing in 136, especially in Sovereign. I had a large number of procs going off and some pretty big heals, upwards of 4,000. Right now we're just uh, battling in Eatine over the central objective just to test out the against all odds and a little of the friendly collision. We're not in a confined space so it's kind of hard to tell but the game runs really smooth if you you can probably see in the video. There are a ton of people on screen. There's no lag for abilities, no choppiness. Now, with the Against All Odds systems, we didn't have the buff, so that means we were outnumbered. I think they said there was about an extra warband for order compared to Destro, so they would have a buff on them of, I'm not sure how much, I think it was like 40% or somewhere in there. So they would be, get, they would be getting pretty good rewards if they weren't already renowned rank 80. There's two developers here, Mythic Andy and Mythic Games. They're the larger than life characters. Yeah, there's just a lot going on here. It, it, it really was fun though, even without the collision, out in the open anyway. All right, and here is our first look at the collision test. They loaded us all into the building at the Chillwind Battlefield objective. And Destruction's trying to kick us out. There are a ton of people in here and a ton of people outside, and the game's actually holding up pretty well. As far as performance goes, it looks really good without friendly collision, but it, is that worth it? That's the tough part. There's some conversations going on in the forums about it. My personal view is I would rather keep friendly collision because of all the gameplay elements it adds, like using choke points and things like that. I'm probably going to do a post about it at some point, as it takes too long to talk about it on here. I was really impressed. I'm getting off all my abilities just fine, and we are all tightly packed in here. I have to spam my group heal quite a bit just because of line of sight issues. I don't want to get in front of the door as I'll be hit by more AoE. I don't expect this kind of situation to pop up on live much, but it seems like the game can handle it.
Yeah, and they eventually do oust us from here, which it, which is expected based on the uh, choke point issues that arise with having no friendly collision. Even though we had a larger group, they were managed to push through. And now we're on, we're on our way to take back that point with destruction all packed in. Line of sight is a little better in this case since we're kind of spread out out here. But some of my group mates did get either sucked in or punted in, and it was hard to res them badly. The air performance is keeping up out here too. We eventually were able to start pushing inside and managed to break through their tank wall, but again, that's that's pretty much expected when you can have every single tank in melee DPS and ranged AoE focus on that tank fight without friendly collision. I really enjoyed playing my Rune Priest in full Sovereign though. So I am looking forward to getting him higher on live as soon as possible. Overall, the test was, was a fun experience. We'll have to see what happens with the friendly collision, but nothing set in stone. And now that we've won, Andy is going to give us a free ride back to the war camp. And that about covers it for this edition of Wear at War. See you next time.